Hey guys, this is Mark. And I got a message to people on the autism spectrum that want to develop some emotional intelligence. The first step in developing emotional intelligence is to understand what steps are involved. Okay? So the first step in developing emotional intelligence involves self-awareness. Okay? And that is the ability to become aware of your own emotions and how they affect your behavior. The second component to developing emotional intelligence is self-regulation. Once you're aware of your emotions, the next step is to learn how to regulate them effectively. This includes managing your emotions and impulses and responding appropriately to different situations. Third component to emotional intelligence, motivation. Motivation is the driving force behind our actions. Developing emotional intelligence involves learning how to motivate yourself and others and how to set and achieve goals. The fourth component to emotional intelligence is empathy. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. Developing empathy involves learning how to listen actively, being able to understand and respond to others' emotions, and being able to build strong relationships. The fifth component, social skills. Social skills are the key to building and maintaining strong relationships. Developing social skills involves learning how to communicate effectively, how to resolve conflict, and how to build trust with others. The sixth and final component to emotional intelligence is positive outlook. People with moderate to high emotional intelligence have a positive outlook on life and are able to maintain a sense of optimism even in the face of adversity. So by focusing on these six areas, you can develop your emotional intelligence and become more effective in both your personal and professional life.